Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna make some orange fudge dipped in dark chocolate. So as you can see there, I've made fudge about three pounds worth and I've cut it into little triangles. And I just made a vanilla fudge using white chocolate chips. And then before it set up, I stirred in some orange extract and orange food coloring into half of it and then swirled it back in with the vanilla and let it set up. And then once it had done that, I cut it up into those triangles and then I'm dipping these into dark chocolate and I'm using a cake tester. Um, I like the small um, width of the wire, but you could also use a toothpick if you wanted to. And after I lay it on the parchment lined cookie sheet, I get the tip of that cake tester like you can see there and smooth out those little holes that I am leaving by stabbing them with that. Then you can just leave them on the cookie sheet to set up or you could pop that cookie sheet into your refrigerator for a couple of minutes to speed the process up if you would like to. And I'm using the guitar brand candy melts and the dark chocolate and I will make sure there's a link in the description of this video. They're perfect, they taste amazing, and they set up really quickly and are really, really easy to handle. And they work well for chocolate dipped strawberries, truffles, and all kinds of candies. So I made about three pounds of fudge and it's gonna get you at least 24 of those triangles. You could also just cut these into bite-sized squares. You can cut it into really cute shapes if you wanted to, but then you lose a lot on the edges if you do circles or hearts or something like that. And now I'm going back with some vanilla chocolate that I've covered with a little bit of orange food coloring and just drizzling. I'm using a tipless disposable piping bag. I'm just drizzling stripes back and forth across. You could also go back with more dark chocolate and do this. You could add a few sprinkles if you wanted to. But I just really like the look of the orange on the dark chocolate. And it also kind of shows you, hey, this is going to be an orange candy in the middle. It's not going to be chocolate all the way through. And you really end up with a really cute piece of candy like you can see here. Um, you can display them with the small oranges like I have so people know what they're getting if you're at like a fair or a pop-up shop or in your shop um, itself. This batch I covered in the orange chocolate and it was really cute too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.